Home and Away has given a first glimpse at the nuptials of Justin Morgan and Leah Patterson in a new promo. The pair have been engaged since late last year, when Leah unexpectedly proposed to Justin as he was fighting for his life following their kidnap by Vita Nova. There were some stumbles along the way, with Leah calling off the engagement and struggling to find her way back to Justin after a stay in a mental health clinic, but things are finally back on track on Australian screens with the pair preparing to marry in the next couple of weeks. We previously reported on our suspicions that the pair could get married in the Hunter Valley, after a crew member posted a photo from the famous wine region on social media during a location recce last year. Shortly afterwards, Shane Withington jokingly commented on X as to whether their choice of accommodation on a location shoot was the best idea. The promo appears to confirm our theory with Leah's wedding car, a classic Mercedes-Benz, seen pulling into what looks to be a picture-perfect vineyard. For someone who for many years was adamant that she would never get married again, Leah looks perfectly content as she takes in her surroundings and Alf, Raymar, helps her out of the car. The promo goes on to flashback various points in Leah and Justin's five-year romance, before we see Justin, alongside best man Theo, Matt Evans, watch as Leah walks down the aisle accompanied by her son VJ, Matt Little. The return of VJ who was last seen fleeing the bay with de facto daughter Luke in 2017, was previously hinted at when Justin and Leah spoke about the immediate family members who would attend from overseas. Whilst many fans doubted that VJ would appear, we pointed out at the time that Matt Little now works on the show as a production assistant, meaning a return could easily be facilitated if required. Tori's appearance had already been known after Penny was spotted by fans filming at Palm Beach, with the actor herself apparently stating that she would be back for just a couple of weeks of filming for the nuptials. Tori had left Summer Bay in 2021 following her own marriage to fellow Dr. Christian Green, Ditch Davy, with the pair moving to the UK with Tori's infant daughter Grace after Tori successfully applied for a position at a London hospital. As more flashbacks are shown, we are reminded that Leah and Justin's relationship had only started out as a friends with benefits arrangement for the pair of them, with Leah telling Justin that the last thing we need here is one of us falling in love. Those scenes seem a lifetime ago now as Justin, beaming with pride, watches Leah approaching, and John gets his chance to shine as he steps up to his role as celebrant to oversee the proceedings. Dialogue as Justin and Leah say their vows is muted in the promo as the soundtrack, the wedding song by Angus Julia Stone takes over. It's probably best we don't start speculating on the song lyrics that play out during that moment however, and we'll make lots and lots of babies on the beach. We see Irene and Rue amongst the guests, smiling as Leah and Justin profess their love for one another, and even Alf looks to be shedding a tear as he proudly watches on. As John pronounces the pair husband and wife, seemingly putting pay to any last-minute disasters, their friends and family cheer as Justin and Leah share a kiss. Although no date is currently known, we expect the wedding to be airing on 7 in the latter part of next week. Leah's history with marriage has certainly been a checkered one, indeed she first turned up in Summer Bay back in 2000 after fleeing an arranged marriage to family friend Ted Simos. Although Leah is seen as the Black Widow of Summer Bay, it's not quite that simple, with only one of Leah's three husbands actually dying whilst legally still married to her. Leah married first husband Vinny. Ryan Quantin, in March 2001, but the pair were cruelly ripped apart less than two years later when Vinny was jailed for fraud, after being set up to take the fall from his hopeless entrepreneur father Ralph. Leah was devastated when she learned that Vinny had apparently been killed in a prison fire in the 2002 season finale, but was dealt a shocking twist in 2004 when Detective Peter Baker, Nicholas Bishop, told her that Vinny was actually still alive, and living in witness protection. He had already reached out to Leah to ask if she and VJ would join him in witness protection, but by this time, Leah was moving on in her life with Dan Baker. Leah went on to marry Dan in July 2005, but he was tragically killed off-screen while stabsailing in the Yellowstone National Park in 2008. When Reverend Elijah Johnson, Jail Agaya, later came to Summer Bay in 2010, he brought with him the news that Vinny had died for real 18 months earlier after being involved in a farming accident. 